We're being asked to prove that the derivative of a constant function is zero. Let's go ahead and do it, so proof. We'll start by saying um, that we have a constant function. So let f of x be equal to c, where c is constant. And to prove that the derivative is zero, we'll use the definition of the derivative. So for any x, we can look at the derivative of f with respect to x. And that's the limit as h approaches zero of the difference quotient, f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. Well, this is the limit as h approaches 0. f of x plus h is just c, right? Because f of x is equal to c. So if you plug in 2, you get c. If you plug in 7, you get c. If you plug in blah, you get c, as long as blah is a real number. So if you plug in x plus h, you're going to get c. So here we get c. And then f of x is just c. So c minus c. And it's all being divided by h. So this is the limit as h approaches 0. Well, c minus c is 0. So we get 0 over h. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 0. And that limit is just 0. So f prime of x is equal to 0. And this is true for any x. We did not use x at all. So that proves that the derivative of a constant function is 0. Now, why does this make sense? Let's try to think about it intuitively. So if we have, say, a constant function, this will be the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. And let's assume for the sake of just drawing a decent picture that c is positive. So there it is. There's our constant function, f of x equals c. And so we know that the derivative of f of x is equal to 0. We just proved it. Uh, but why? Well, let's think about what slope means and what a derivative is. This is the slope. This, this whole thing here, the derivative, is the slope of the tangent line to the graph of f of x equals c at x. So if it was f prime of 2, it would be the slope at 2. If it was f prime of 3, it would be the slope at 3. We say it's the slope of the tangent line. Loosely speaking, it's the slope of the function. So if you pick a point, say here, and you draw a tangent line, well, it ends up just being the same horizontal line. So any tangent line is just the same horizontal line. The slope is equal to rise over run. And there's no rise here. You're, you're kind of stuck. So it's 0 over run. So it's pretty rough, but it's 0. So the slope of a horizontal line is 0. Since the derivative is 0, um, it makes sense, right? Because the derivative is supposed to be the slope of the function. So I hope that helped.